In this video, we'll cover importing your bank and general ledger data, matching your data with their high-speed automated matching engine, and manually matching records. Let's start by exporting your bank data. Log on to your bank's website, download your transactions, and save them to an Excel, CSV, or tab delimited file. Next, let's get your general ledger data. Export your transactions from your accounting package or other in-house system, and save them to an Excel, CSV, or tab delimited file. Now let's import both sets of data into BankRec, starting with your bank records. Select Import Bank. Since we're in the sample account, the name of my bank file is displayed, but I could use Select File to browse for it, or I could copy and paste my data from Excel using the Paste button. Select Next to go to the Mapping window. Here we map our file to indicate what data is in each field. Think of this as a window into the file you're importing. As we're working in our sample account, our data fields have already been mapped, BankRec automatically saves your mapping choices. If you need to change your mapping later, select the column and then use the drop-down menu to map the correct field. Here we have mapped date, check number, amount, and description. Notice that deposits and other transactions that increase our balance are shown as positive amounts, and that checks and other withdrawals which reduce our balance are shown as negative amounts. Next takes us to the Review Records screen. At the Review Records screen, we can see the record count and control totals and use these to confirm with the totals from your Excel spreadsheet. The 184 records and amount match the Excel spreadsheet, but also note that there is an invalid row. An invalid row isn't bad, it's just not a transaction. In this case, the record is our column header. BankRec filters out blank rows and other non-transactional rows, so you don't have to rework or modify the file you're importing. I'll select Next and Finish. The steps to import the GL records are the same as those we took to import our bank records. Select Import GL. As we're in the sample account, our file name is displayed and we continue. Again, BankRec remembers our mapping selections from earlier sessions and we've already mapped the date, amount, description, and check number. Notice in this example there is a site column. If you have multiple locations, this column can be used in the matching process. Select Next. At the Review Records screen, we can confirm the record count and control totals. Note, if there is a discrepancy, we could click Cancel to stop the import. I'll select Next and Finish. At this point, we've imported all of our transactions. But before we start our automated matching, let's look at the common matching rules. They are Check to Check, Void to Issue, Alphanumeric, User Defined, and Amount. The Check to Check matching rule is probably the most common and is a good example of how matching works. When using the Check to Check rule, our matching engine first looks at checks that have cleared the bank. For example, if the first cleared check is check 1234 for $100, BankRec looks at the general ledger for check 1234. If the general ledger record is found, it then looks for the amount of $100. If a match is made, the records are marked as matched and assigned an audit trail group number. BankRec keeps running its high-speed matching until it has attempted to match all the records. When it completes this rule, it starts the next matching rule and continues until the rules are finished. Now let's kick off the matching process. Select Matching from the home screen. BankRec runs all the selected automated transaction matching rules and when finished, displays the unmatched bank records on the left and the unmatched GL records on the right. Out of the 180 plus records on each side, these are the records which remain unmatched. Think of this as a cleanup window, where you can manually match records. For example, we can see one set of records can be manually matched. In the general ledger data, we see a deposit of $17,000 and an offsetting correcting journal entry of $250. The deposit should have only been booked in the GL for $16,750. On the bank side, we see the $16,750 deposit. We'll want to match these records. Notice when the records are selected, and in this case, in balance, the Match Bank to GL button is enabled. When I select the button, these three records are marked as matched and given an audit trail group number. You can now continue to match additional records, or you can come back at any time. Please watch the next video to learn more about reporting and to get additional getting started tips.